Welcome to the Re-Report. Thank you guys for being here today. I feel like it's been a while. I've been out filming uh, two music videos and just a whole lot of hectic, crazy stuff I've been dealing with. And uh, all good things, nothing bad, nothing bad. Um, but I just had to come here, you know, and uh, do another video. Do another video and give my perspective <laughs> on the video. Uh, the name of the music video we filmed is called Perspective. But uh, yeah, that's where the shirt comes from. And uh, keep an eye out for that. You'll see that soon. Be sure to subscribe to I Am Media. Yeah, be sure to subscribe to I Am Media to stay, stay, uh, you know, stay out on the lookout for that video coming this summer. Um, but today I wanted to talk about uh, something interesting I came across uh, on the internet. Because you know, the internet is filled with all type of interesting things. And it was a uh, a quote by uh, Danny Vietti, who is a senior social producer uh, for CBS Sports uh, Baseball. He was on a podcast called the 3 Tape Podcast, and he had an interesting perspective about the Oakland A's and their low, low uh, fan attendance. Um, as we know, the season is still early, still an early swing. And the A's had their home opener this week. And in the first game, they played the Baltimore Orioles, who are not a good team. Uh, we know the A's have traded away um, two of their best players, the face of their franchise, um, I think Chapman and Olsen. And it's pretty much back to square one for them. You know, they, they were hot last year. And then they kind of fizzled out and missed the playoffs. Uh, but they were in the playoffs the year before that. Um, you know, they've been, a, they've been a very solid team. They've been a very solid team, a team that, you know, could get there, but can never figure it out once they got there. Um, I think they were in the playoffs uh, in the bubble, the MLB's version of the bubble, the 60-game condensed season, where they lost to the Houston Trastros, I mean Astros. Um, and they, uh, yeah, they lost that series. Last year finished like 86 and 76, didn't make the playoffs after being like just a very good team early on and, you know, throughout the season and they just fizzled out. And uh, so in game one of their home opener this past week, they drew an attendance of 17,503. And then in a the second game, there was a super dip, a super dip in attendance where they drew a crowd of 3,748. And then in game three against the Orioles, I mean, and again, it is Baltimore. So we'll see. We'll see. But they drew an attendance of 2,703. And Danny Vietti said to those, he said, and I quote, to those clowning the A's for having poor attendance, go ahead, but understand why this is happening. This is a boycott by A's fans. After nearly two decades of watching their owner refuse to invest in the team they love. It's not that A's fans don't exist. They're just tired of the BS. It's a boycott, unquote. And I wanted to give a, a, um, a take on this because, you know, this, this is pretty much what I'm doing and what I'm doing along with the Angels. A lot of people, you, you hear a lot of people call you a fair weather fan, call you, you know what I'm saying, a a bandwagon fan only come out when the team's doing good or whatever. But let me just give my perspective on this. The Angels last made the playoffs in 2014. They had the best record, I think, in all of baseball. They went into the postseason and got swept out by Kansas City, who eventually made it to the World Series. Lost to the Giants in seven, but came back the next year and won it. The last time they made the playoffs before 2014 was 2009. They were like the dynasty of the American League West. They were constantly winning division, constantly a top record. They lost to the Yankees in the ALCS in 09. And it took them five years to get back there. And they've only been to the playoffs once since 2009. And I've gotten to the point where I'm fed up with the Angels. I'm an Angels fan. I have not watched an Angels game this season. And I'm going to tell, I don't know, I've, it's been a silent protest, but I'm telling people now, I'll probably, because it's a group thing, we're thinking about going, wow, we're thinking about going to an A's game. And my plan was to go when the Angels came out here uh, Saturday, May 14th, which would be a doubleheader, 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. But uh, we'll see. 
we'll see. I may have to switch that around and go watch another team play the A's because I'm doing the same thing with the Angels. I have not watched a game this season. And like I said, a lot of people see it as fair weather bandwagon. But my thing is, I've been an Angels fan since I say 2008 is when I really got into baseball. But I, re I always liked the Angels when we moved out to California from Mississippi. So because I can't take the losing, because this team has always had the talent, they, you know, they, they've had the, the, the people in place to be able to um, have success. I see it as I buy the merchandise, I watch the games, I attend the games, I buy all of this, and I'm not getting a return on my investment. And all I ask you to do is win, make the playoffs, and yes, I would love a World Series. But when you are constantly losing, look, I ain't a Raiders or Browns fan. Those are some loyal people. I'm loyal, but not to a fault. So me personally, I feel if this is a boycott, I'm with Oakland A's fans. I'm 100% with them. I agree with them. And I say, keep doing your thing. I know gas prices are high. That could be a reason. Uh, but people are talking about, oh, A's fans aren't loyal, this and that. And I say, nope, this team has had talent in place and they just got rid of that talent. And now they're going back to square one. I'm not watching an Angels game until they have a record to where I can look at it and be like, okay, they're gonna make the playoffs. I will not watch until they start having success again. So I'm with A's fans on that. I completely agree. Uh, like I said, it was just Baltimore. I know they played Texas. Let's, I think the Texas games, and Texas is not really a good team either. They're not good either. But I, let's just see what the attendance was like uh, against the Texas Rangers. In the eyes of a ranger, when you're in Texas, look behind you. Because that's where Rangers going to be. And the Texas Rangers beat the A's yesterday 8-1. to one, And the attendance was 7,012, so it went up more. It went up more. It went up from the 17, well, you know, yeah, 17,000 in a home opener. Uh, over 3,500 in game two, a little over 2,700 in game three to 7,000. So we'll see if this is a boycott. Again, I think gas prices play a big role in this as well. And the team, you know, when the team just ain't good enough, they ain't worth it, you ain't just gonna be spending paper to just go see them. You know, gas is too high, man, but I'm with them. And I feel the same way, honestly, about the Carolina Panthers. If you know me, you know that I like the Panthers. You know, I'm a Laker fan as well. I have no reason to boycott the Lakers or anything like that. I mean, the season was just a boycott in general. It was just terrible. But I've been a Panthers fan since 01. And they were 1-15 that year. And I wasn't heavily into football like that. But I remember picking them as my team based off playing NFL Blitz with my brother. I was just scrolling through looking for a team, know nothing about football, and I just saw the best looking logo to me. A uh, silver helmet with a blue and black Panther logo. I was like, that's tight, that's decent. Get my team right here. So I became a Panthers fan based off that. And they are, if you, like I said, like I was saying earlier, if you know me, you know that that's my favorite team of all of my teams. And they have the one team that has never won the Super Bowl. We been there twice uh the first time we went I, I didn't watch that super bowl i still wasn't really into football like that i didn't get heavily into football until like 05 and then of course we made it to the foot uh the super bowl in 2015 and lost to the broncos so if the panthers ever won the super bowl man that would bring me so much joy i mean i'm joyful now i'm happy now but in the sports realm it'll bring me so much joy but the panthers have has have even gotten to the point where i'm fed up and so I've made it, you know, I'm stated here. I've already stated it because I'm tired of all these five win seasons. Usually when we're bad, we're mediocre, like seven and nine or eight and eight. But now this is getting terrible because they've been on winning streaks. They've looked good. And it's to the point now where it's like, yo, you got the talent. You got pieces out there. There's no reason you should be losing all these close games. A lot of people try to say, oh, you know, they lost this many close games. Imagine if they would have won. Nope, you are what your record is. If you lose if you lose 12 close games, that's who you are. You're not good at closing. 
and you're a bad team. Just because you lose a lot of close games, that doesn't mean you're a good team because you were in position to win. I mean, you're a bad team. So if I'm giving the Panthers four games, if they are 0-4 or 1-3, I will not watch the Panthers again this season, this upcoming season. Of course, the score is going to be on. I'm going to watch the score, but I will not watch highlights and I will not watch the games. I'll probably watch highlights just to see. I'll probably. But they have to be 4-0, 3-1, or 2-2. We'll see. But like I said, man, I feel A's fans. I'm with y'all 100% on this. Do not accept losing this long. Like I said, you are paying your money for jerseys and all that merchandise to go to the game. Gas prices all high. Buying tickets, parking, all those things. You want to return on your investment. So I'm with A's fans if they are indeed boycotting. We'll continue to monitor the situation and see how that plays out. But I believe they are boycotting too. Again, I think gas prices play a role in this because they're too high. And that's the Bay Area. But uh, yeah, so I'm with the A's fans. I'm not watching Angel games until they have a record to where they've completely pulled away, separating the wins and losses. And I think they're in playoff position. I will not watch the Angels play. I will not because I can't take the losing anymore. The losing weighs on you. That's why I have respect and all that for Raider fans of the years past with a punter and kicker with their best player, Shane Legler and uh, what's the other guy named Janikowski. And Browns fans going 1-15 and then 0-16 and throwing a parade. <laughs> I have respect for y'all for that because I couldn't do it. So, again, in closing, I'm with A's fans. Uh, appreciate you guys for taking the time to hear me out. I am The Reed Report, and uh, we will continue to make more videos, and we will be back on other things. So uh, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and be notified when a new video drops. Until next time, I got to go get my car.